Welcome back. In this lab, we're going to take a look at how to create this frisbee-looking widget. Uh, I.e., a widget is basically just a really a makeup part. There's not no real purpose for it. It's just so that you can learn different techniques for modeling. So let's begin. With this particular exercise, you'll see that there's a lot of parallel dimensions that are set at this angle of 25 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and have to um, model up some offsets and such inside AutoCAD. 2022. So let's begin. I'm going to push this aside here. Just start with a new part. The AutoCAD 3D. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Home, Top, and from here you could go to the Visualize Tools. And to get the visualize tools, just remember if you don't, you could right click on any tab, show tabs, make sure 3D tools and visualize are both checked on. Now, over here, because I have a truncated screen, I'm going to go to, I like working in the wireframe to start with, and then we could change it to us. Whatever. All right, I'm going to go back home here. I'm going to go to the line tool. And these are one inch increments right here so let's actually half inch i'm sorry uh, so let's go turn the snaps and zoom out a little bit with your wheel and right here you can see we're at a half inch now the hole inside that part is one inch in diameter so technically if we go off the y axis that we see there to the right that's the center of our model so click right here drag this off and right away you can turn off the snaps right as soon as you click that now for this one, I'm just going to go no particular height. I'm going to go three inches and then hit tab. And this will be 115 and that's 90 plus the 25 degrees that we're compensating for. So that gives us our angle immediately. And that's the only angle in that print that we're really concerned about. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit escape, go back to line. And off of that point, I could click and drag off a horizontal line. In this case, I'm just going to have it, again, go out about three inches. We're going to trim these things up. We just want to go beyond the extents of what the model uh, suggests. All right, I'm going to hit Escape again. And with those two, we could pretty much do everything we need. So looking at the print again, we could see everything is going to be offset from those. So we're going to have an offset of 0 0.25, 0 0.25 twice there, and then even a 1.5 up at the top. This one's going to be offset 0.25, and from here to here, this is going to be 0.375, and then finally from here to here, it will be 2.5. So it's just a lot of offsets. And this is just one technique. So I'm going to go over here to the offset tool. Uh, we'll first offset this. And then hit enter. We'll just click up here. Oops. Oh, I accidentally was back in the line tool. Let me go back to offset there. Click on offset. Specify the offset distance. Let's go ahead and put in 0.25. Select the object to offset. Click. Drag it up. Click. And there's, this is another 0.25 off of that, so click on this, upward click, and then let's go ahead and type in the next value, which is 1.5. And off of the bottom, click, oops, we'll have to type it in 1.5 here, I thought I could get it up there. All right, so that's our height. Now this one, we're going to go ahead and specify that. We're looking at 0.25 for the first one. So go back to offset. Actually, we're in offset. Just select this line here. 0.25. Perfect. Just hit enter. Oh, sorry. Let me specify that. And now off of that line again, click, and this will be 0.375. And then off of that line again, but the last one here will be 2.25. There we go. 
All right, from here we could go ahead and start trimming. So go to your trim tool, and we could trim this information up there, trim these, and let's go ahead and trim these out here. Get rid of that last one. Trim these out. Oops. Don't try not to trim too much. All right. Now we could go ahead and trim this from there to there. Actually, we could trim that out too. And then inside here, trim that. And pretty much all this stuff on the inside here. Okay. There's our geometry. Let's now go to the fillet tool. And the fillet is a, a radius, and it's going to be 0.5. So type in 0.5, hit enter, select this line, this line, and we've got it. We can now go ahead and go to the 3D tools, and we could go ahead and rotate or revolve that. So select revolve. Um, you know what? It's actually before I do that, I'm going to hit escape. It's a good idea to join this geometry when you're dealing with solids. Sometimes uh, you get surfaces if you do not join these things. So I'm going to click and select it all. I'm going to go to Home. Under Modify, there's the Join. Okay, And now you'll see it's all one. So we could go ahead and select it. Go back to 3D Tools, Revolve, and specify the axis right here at the WCS, drag it straight up, click, and make sure down below here it's set to 360, or type in 360, enter. We can now go to the Visualize tab, and make sure you go ahead and set it to Conceptual, Shaded, whatever you prefer. I'll go with Realistic, and Rotate, and we are done. And that concludes that lap.